we would highly recommend dual head entry operatories for ease of access into and out of an operatory. What do we mean by dual head entry? That means we have an access point on the right and the left side of the operatory. That allows, if I'm a right-handed operator, for myself and the assistant to enter the operatory from the right side, the patient has access to the dental chair, my assistant can enter on the left side. And as the assistant, if I need to retrieve an instrument during a procedure, it's very easy for me to get up and leave the room. And if you can imagine, if the assistant, if that opening is not there, the assistant would be forced to come in this way, walk all the way around the foot end of the dental chair to reach the assistant position. If I remove this opening, if I'm the doctor or operator, I'm forced to come in that entry point, walk all the way around the chair, come back over here to my seated treatment position. So for general practitioners, we would never recommend a single head entry operatory. We would always recommend dual head entry for all general practitioners for the majority of their treatment rooms. Now that we've established that dual head entry is the most efficient way to get into and out of the operatory, let's talk about delivery units. So delivery units deliver things like compressed air, vacuum, power, multiple accessories that allow you to efficiently provide dental services. So for example, this is a unit manufactured by Midmark. This is the Pro Center left-right unit. So it swivels around the chair in either direction. So it'll support right-handed operators or left-handed operators. And it, there's a huge upside to this when you're in the seated treatment position because you can bring the unit right in front of you, all your hand pieces, all your accessories are right in front of you. One of the challenges of a chair-mounted doctor's module is, is I'm gaining access into the operatory and for example here coming to a side cabinet to wash my hands I have to make sure that this unit is pre-positioned properly to keep this pathway open along here so there's a huge upside ergonomically with this there's a little bit of a challenge when you're getting access into and out of the operatory but if I come over here wash my hands I can greet the patient for the first time there's a huge psychological upside to, for a patient to see the doctor wash their hands it's very important that early on in the process that you make a determination about what delivery unit combination is best for your needs. So in this operatory, we have what we call split delivery. The doctor or operator's module is split off from the assistant's module. So here's my doctor's module, operator's module, chair mount attached to the base of the dental patient chair. Here's my assistant's module, which is attached to a flexible 12 o'clock work surface, which is in turn mounted on a 12 o'clock cabinet. So this happens to be the Midmark Synthesis Series, a very durable unit. We'll take all kinds of abuse over the years and uphold and you know work well for you. I think it has a, a steel substructure to it. But so the delivery unit combination though is split delivery. Chair mounted doctor, operator module, assistant mount on a 12 o'clock work surface. So for hygienists, they especially love this type of module because they're hand pieces and they can have their instrument tray right here, their scalers or root planers, all of that stuff can be right here in front of them, all of that instrumentation right in front of them. There's really easy access back to the oral cavity. I'll show you that here in a minute when we sit down at the dental patient chair. So we now have a different delivery unit configuration for you to consider. So remember we were just in the previous operatory where we had a split delivery unit configuration where the doctor's module was attached to the base of the chair and the assistant's module was attached to a flexible 12 o'clock work surface that which was in turn attached to a 12 o'clock cabinet. In this delivery unit option, we now have the doctor's module attached to the same flexible 12 o'clock work surface that the assistant's module module is attached to. So there's, there's a couple of big advantages to doing this. One is the doctor's module which contains your hand pieces is no longer in front of the patient where the patient can view that module. So especially pediatric dentists love this option. They don't want the kids to reach out and grab a hand piece. They don't want the kids necessarily to even see the hand pieces. The second huge upside to this delivery unit configuration is the pathway, the pathway on the right side of the chair, for example, in the previous operatory, we had to pre-position the doctor's module to get to the sink to wash my hands. That pathway is now completely clear. So the pathway is clear. If I bring in mobile units, I have a clear pathway. There's a huge upside to that. Here in a second, I'm going to sit down at the chair, though, and I'm going to show you some of the ergonomic challenges of having the doctor's module attached to the flexible 12 o'clock work surface. 
Now that I'm in the seated treatment delivery position, it becomes more obvious what the ergonomic challenges are of flexible dual function rear delivery. So now instead of having the doctor's module in directly in front of me like I had with the split delivery option, I now have the doctor's module to the left of me, actually to the side of me. So ergonomically, if I'm going to retrieve my hand pieces from the doctor's module, I'm left with sort of this alternative. I come back under the headdress, I'm looping the tubing back around to get to the oral cavity. Once I'm in the oral cavity, it's fine. I have good ergonomic access. I can do all the things I would like to do with a handpiece. But as soon as I return that handpiece back to the holder on the doctor's module, it, it's a bit of an awkward transition to get back over there. So pediatric dentists love this, but like I said, because the doctor's module is not in view of the of the child. They can't reach out and grab it. They don't see it. It helps relax them. And in pediatric dentistry, there's not maybe some of the higher level of operative procedures where you're just working with a lot of hand pieces. So ergonomically, that there is a challenge to that. But once again, we still have the same assistance module attached to the flexible 12 o'clock work surface, which is in turn attached to, in this example, a Midmark Synthesis 12 o'clock cabinet. We still have our, this is a Midmark Elevance chair with an integrated armrest for patient comfort, the same articulated headrest. It gives us multi-positioning flexibility. So we'd really encourage you in the design process to make a choice on which delivery unit configuration is best for you early on in the process to get it in your drawings and make sure there's no utility implications or misses later on during construction. So our main two options, once again, split delivery where the doctor's module is attached to the chair. It's great ergonomically when you're in the seated treatment position. It creates pathway challenges because that delivery unit sits in the pathway on the operator's side of the dental chair or dual function flexible rear delivery where you hide the hand pieces from patient view but you introduce ergonomic challenges because you're torquing or turning to one side or the other to retrieve your hand pieces. Th those are your two options. Like some people have said over the years, there's no perfect delivery unit configuration, but these are two great options we would highly recommend. We would not recommend what is called side delivery for the doctor's module where it's placed on one side of the operatory or the other. It totally one sides the room, it's not ambidextrous, and you're eliminating 20% of the population from using that particular room. So uh, we would encourage you to make those decisions as soon as you can.